What is up everybody? Team Snagam West here with a little bit different of a video. First off, I want to thank everybody as we hit 200 subscribers, finally. Um, so I want to thank all of you that have hit that subscribe button. If you haven't yet, I can only tell you, hit that subscribe button again. We got weekly videos coming out. Um, we actually have no draft league battles this week, so we're doing a little something, something, a little something different. Um, I'm really overexposed. <laughs> Let's go ahead and dim that down a little bit more. There you go. We're gonna set the mood, set the mood. Um, so for this video, we're gonna grab the top six most used VGC Pokemon, um, post Isle of Armor, of course. And we're gonna see how many wins we can get. We're capping ourselves at two, so once we lose two, we're done. Um, we're also going to try to use the same, like, the most used EV spreads. We are using Pika Linux to decide our six Pokemon we're bringing for VGC rules. So coming in at number one, used on almost 36% of every single VGC team, we got Rillaboom, obviously. It's got 10 ability, which is Grassy Surge. Um, we rock in the Grassy Glide. Which go ahead and it gives it priority under grassy terrain. So it makes makes real boom attack first, no matter what. Then we're rocking fake out, because you always gotta have that cheeky little fake out in there. We're running knockoff. And um actually the fourth most used move is wood hammer, but I don't want to repeat another grass type move. So we went ahead and used the next one below it, which is U-turn. People run grassy glide on Rillaboom almost 94 percent of the time which makes sense with that grassy surge ability um people run fake out on it 83 percent of the time knockoff is on 65 percent of the time uh wood hammer is higher at 52 percent of the time but we went ahead and used u-turn which is used 33 percent of the time so that's gonna be our move set and 54% of the time people rock it with an assault vest. So we are rocking an assault vest on our Rillaboom here. And it is also our Gigantamax Rillaboom. So we are good there. So the Pokemon that's used next most, actually it's a little bit out of order here, is Togekiss is the second most used Pokemon in VGC. Used 35% of the time. So just between Rillaboom and Togekiss, You'll see this Pokemon pretty much 70% of the time. You'll see at least one of the two. Um, and once again, Togekiss. I don't think we gave it Assault Vest. I'll have to check to see what we have to do afterwards. We'll do the item recap at the end anyway. So we'll go ahead. Actually, I probably will actually be able to tell you guys what we're running on Togekiss. Um, we are running Scope Lens on Togekiss. 51% of the time people run Scope Lens on Togekiss. Uh, Togekiss has, moves, has Dazzling Gleam, which of course can hit both Pokemon. 95% of the time people run Dazzling Gleam on it. Uh, Follow Me is used 85% of the time. Um, Air Slash is the third most with 81%. And then 60% of the time people run Protect. 32% um, they run Heat Wave, but I went with the 16% and Yawn. Um, just to kind of fully balance out this team that we're going with as we're going to try to see can how far we can get with the top six most used VGC Pokemon. We'll see if it's absolutely broken or we'll see if there's maybe some strategizing that goes to it. And this is, I believe, a timid Togekiss as well, which people use 9% of the time. It actually has different, it kind of varies between timid and modest quite frequently. Um, so let's go ahead and go back to the Pokemon I had out of order. The third most used Pokemon in VGC is Incineroar. It is used 28% of the time. And 97% of the time, it's going to be running Fake Out. With another 80% of the time, it running Flare Blitz. 78% of the time, running Parting Shot. And with Parting Shot, I didn't really want to use Snarl, so we went ahead and used the next one, because Snarl is used 22% of the time. It's technically the fourth most used move. But literally tied with it at 22%, just slightly under. Uh, Snarl is used 22.4%, and Darkest Lariat is used 22.2%. So we went with Darkest Lariat. Um, just in case Pokemon wants to set defenses, we can totally completely ignore that. And then people tend to run it as a careful, natural, careful nature, 
with the aguave berry we are running safety goggles just to prevent any kind of rocks any kind of cautions out there pretty much or hazards or anything um and then 99 percent of the time you'll run intimidate on incineroar so we kind of already know what those moves do so the fourth most used Pokemon is Cinderace. It's used 23% of the time. Um, let's go ahead and click on it here. Um, this, this Cinderace is rocking a Life Orb. Um, and it is the Libero. 99% of the time, Cinderace will be Libero now. Um, with the access to that new hidden ability that I got in the Isle of Armor. Um... 88% of the time, people run high jump kick on it. 81% of the time, people run bounce on it. We actually, I'm not running bounce on it. Um, instead, it, we've elected to go with pyro ball or iron head. I went iron head, which is used on 47% of the time. Um, I just favor toga because we don't really need a flying type move. Um, so we're running pyro ball, high jump kick, sucker punch, and iron head. High jump kick being used most of the time on Cinderace, 88% of the time. Uh, Bounce is being used 69% of the time. Pyro Ball is being used 64% of the time, and Iron Head is 47%. Of course, with Libero, any move it does is going to be stabbed because it's going to change it based on the move typing it is. So it's a Pokemon that will always hit stab, and most of the time, people about 65% of the time, people will run a Jolly. And try, try to take advantage of that decent speed stat that it has. Um, our fifth most used Pokemon is Porygon 2. It is used 22.6%, so we'll round that up to 23% of the time as well. Porygon 2, of course, obviously holding the Eevee Alight. Um, runs Trick Room 98% of the time. Recover 97% of the time. Ice Beam 81% of the time. And Thunderbolt 63% of the time so we kind of stuck with that move pool it does have download and we do have modest on our Porygon too and the last Pokemon we will be using just barely making the cut over Dragapult is Amoongus. Amoongus the sixth most used Pokemon in VGC um, this Amoongus is holding a Koba Berry I do believe um, it used a Spore 99.8% of the time it would run Spore with Rage Powder also at 98.8% of the time. Or Rocking Protect, it's used 75% of the time. And then, this is toss-up between Pollen Puff and Sludge Bomb. I figured we should probably get some Stab Poison in there. Um, so we went ahead and Rocking Sludge Bomb at 28% of the time. It does have the move Regenerator, which will be pretty useful, and it is Sassy. Um, with a pretty weird EV spread. I just grabbed the one that's used 7% of the time. So it's maxed out in HP. And it's kind of split evenly among um, defense and special defense. So that's our Amoongus. And let's see how much trouble we can get in with this team. So we'll go ahead and look at... Here's all of our items. So we are running the Assault Vest on the Rillaboom. Safety Goggles on the Incineroar. Scope Lens on the Togekiss to take advantage of that super lucky ability. Life Orb on Cinderace. Eevee Light on Porygon 2. And the Koba Berry on Amoongus. So we'll go ahead and we will jump right into it here. And we'll see if we can... Let's connect to the good old internet. Actually, I don't even think I need to. Um, we'll see how far this team goes. Again, we don't really know how long this video is going to be. I don't really claim to be the best at battling so I imagine it won't be very long I'm also actually pretty high up there in the on we're gonna do on we're gonna do ranked battles of course online ranked battles um I will remove the webcam also once we get into it we are already tier five so sure we'll let them see the top six most used Pokemon <laughs> Alright, so we did last my last my last battle I did lose, so we're gonna go ahead and use our party here. So we have one nine and eight. Um that's mainly using my draft league team. Um so we'll go ahead. We did find a battle, so I'm gonna go ahead and hide the webcam now. 
So we can go ahead and get started with that. All right, let me go ahead and hide the webcam. All right, now you guys don't have to look at my ugly face anymore. So let's see, this person here is rocking the Cinderace, Mimic U, the Ndidi, the Titar, the Ferrothorn, and the Milotic. Um, so potential sand team here. Uh, so we'll go ahead. I don't really see. He could set terrain with that Ndidi. That is a great possibility. Um, but let's go ahead and we'll rock Rillaboom and Porygon 2, I think, to start. And then we will keep... With those kind of Pokemon, I don't think we're really going to use a Moongus here. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll add Incineroar. And let's go ahead and let's add Togekiss. Um, if we ever get in a situation where we have to go deal with the Tyranitar, maybe Togekiss could help us out. So we're using the six best, most used BGC Pokemon according to Pika Linux. And we'll see if our boy or girl, Aegeon, we'll see what they have in store for our squad. Their team is in. Let's jump into it here. Let's have some fun. Good luck, man. Have fun. Again, we'll keep doing as many battles until we lose two. So, I mean, our first two battles we could lose, and then that kind of tells us. Okay, there's a T-Tar in the Milotic. So that's actually quite huge for us here. So Sandstorm is going to come up. But we did set up the Grassy Surge. Now, both these Pokemon could be huge issues, honestly. I'm mainly worried about Milotic and its coiling ability here. So we'll go ahead and we do got priority with the Grassy Surge. Um, but what do we do? Do we fake out the T-Tar? Or do we fake out the Milotic? Uh, or we knock off? Ooh, there's so many options here. I think we Grassy Glide the Milotic. Uh, Milotic being such a problem. And then we'll go ahead and we will just Thunderbolt the Milotic also will double down on the Milo he did use protect I should have predicted that 100% my mistake there oh he just double protected okay so he's setting up double protect anyway so this turn really would have mattered he's probably scouting out moves would be my guess so we double down on the Milotic here it is gonna be hit by that sandstorm so is Rillaboom so is Porygon too. Okay, so my Lodic is running. Oh no, it's the grassy terrain. I was like, what did Tarnation happen? <laughs> I forgot. Grassy terrain also heals. So it's like leftovers for everybody. Um, we probably may be expecting a fake out, I guess. Would probably be, I guess. Um, so let's grassy glide into the T Tar now. And then we will just Thunderbolt the Milotic here. He's either gonna have to switch here, or maybe I don't really know what the intention is. He's gonna switch out of Milotic into the Ndidi. So that is gonna change up the, the terrain. So smart play there. Psychic Surge is gonna come in. So he's gonna get the switch on the terrain. That's a great counter for Rillaboom. Grassy Glide is gonna come in. It's still gonna hurt that T-Tar. Decent damage for sure. Definitely would have done a lot more. But did activate the weakness policy on the T-Dar. Porygon 2 is going to T-Bolt the Ndidi. And it is a superpower. And Porygon 2 is going to get wasted. Absolutely. From that superpowered weakness policy T-Tar. We are going to get buffeted by the sand. Um, let's go ahead and go into... I think this would be a great time for Incineroar to come in. So Incin we're going to send up Incin. Going to get off that Intimidate. So basically the Tyrantar really is not going to be able to do a whole lot. Especially after that superpower. Um, we will go ahead and go into maybe a knockoff on the Ndidi. 
And then I kind of want to fake out the T-Tar. I'm kind of expecting a predict here, or a protect. Or he could also switch out T-Tar as well. It's also a really good option. Good thing about Porygon too is we didn't really real well, we don't really need Trick Room with this team. With these six, maybe it'd be nice with like a Moongus. Um, but obviously with the using the top six VGC Pokemon, really no point. So we are gonna get the fake off. Oh, I forgot Psychic Terrain, so that's hundred percent my fault. It looks like they made a boo-boo too. Oh no. Six fanny force hits both Pokemon. And that is hundred percent my fault. Forgetting that Psychic Terrain was up. Everybody at home was probably yelling at me. So in comes the Rock Slide. That is going to hurt our boys. So as you see, we made a couple boneheaded moves. But sometimes it just be like that. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll just U-turn out here with the Rillaboom. Um, and then let's just go ahead. We'll just Darkest Lariat the NDD. It is going to be a helping hand. Um, t Dart might actually live, I'm thinking. You turn out. Oh, and it will hang on, barely. And Rillaboom is going to go ahead and switch out here. We're going to go into Togekiss. Which is unfortunately going to take a beating here, especially if I'm expecting a Rock Slide. We're in Darkest Lariat. Probably should have doubled down into the T-Tar. But indeed, he is going to go bye-bye. So there goes his terrain setters, if he does want to switch it back out. There comes a rock slide. That's kind of what I was worried about. And that is going to knock out both these guys due to that helping hand boost. So a couple boneheaded moves here by me probably changed the rhythm of this game. Uh, we will go ahead and bring in Rillaboom. We are going to switch Rillaboom. That is going to change the terrain, though. So that's going to be huge for us. Back out comes the Milotic. Now, the only issue with Milotic... I'm kind of expecting um, a Protect here. Um, on the... T-Tar, but we're going to have to get rid of this T-Tar. It's kind of really our only option at this point. Uh, we'll actually just Grassy Glide into my Lodic. I don't think we're going to win this either way. Yeah, my Lodic is going to use Protect. And T-Tar is going to use Protect. Okay, so either way. Grassy Glide will not be able to hit anything at the moment. Sandstorm is out, which is huge for us. Tyranitar is going to get a little bit of heelsies there. Uh, we'll go ahead and Grassy Glide that Milotic. T-Tar at like negative whatever. Probably still could hurt us, for sure. Um, we're definitely kind of in a pickle. 100% uh, my fault for not paying attention to the Psychic Terrain being up and obviously not being able to fake out with that. That's me looking too far into the future and not at what's actually in front of me. Alright, we're just going to wait for our opponent here to make a move. Grassy Glide into the Milota. It's actually going to eat that. So I definitely would have been better off. Well, I think get where we're going to die here to this Icy Wind. No, we're not, but I'm assuming this thing's either going to superpower. Yep, it's going to superpower us. And that is going to be GG. So there's our first L. Um, probably definitely in the face of our own hands there. 
But GG to our opponent. Let's see if we can turn this log around with this team. No, we don't look at his team yet. We'll continue battling. We'll see if we can get the top six Pokemon. A W here. So yeah, me going for a fake out there did kind of bone us. We're going against a Drew, who's rank five. And he's got Excadrill. But he doesn't have a sand setter. So Um Hmm. I really like Amoongus in this matchup. I think we might actually go Porygon 2. Amoongus. Um Actually. Let's withdraw. Let's do the double support mons. We'll do Togekiss. Amoongus. And then we'll bring Cinderace this time and Rillaboom. I think that might be the power play here. Again, good luck to my opponent here. We'll see, we, we'll see if we can get our VGC team a W. But that first game definitely proved that there's, even if you use the top six Pokemon, there's still weaknesses in the team that you need to fill out. So Excadrill and Gyarados. Huh. Okay. All right, we got Mold Breaker that's going to come in. It's a very interesting move here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click Follow Me with Togekiss. And then we'll actually sit here and we will spore um, definitely probably the Excadrill. So we'll see if Togekiss can get some luck here in taking hits. Iron Head. That is going to hurt. And that is going to knock out the Togekiss. And then Gyarados is going to bounce the hell out of here. Very unique team because you usually only see Excadrill with Spore is gonna land. And it is gonna put that Excadrill to sleep. Uh, we do have a bounce from Gyarados coming. So we'll go ahead and switch into Cinderace here. And we have some pretty good stuff we can do here. Uh, we can go ahead and high jump kick the Excadrill. We will probably move before the Gyarados. So we will actually high jump kick Excadrill. And then we'll protect with the Amoongus, assuming that the balance is going to go right into that Amoongus slot. So whatever we switch to Komo'o is going to take a high jump kick here. Amoongus is going to protect. I'm kind of expecting the bounce to go in the, to that slot. High jump kick is going to change us to a fighting type. Whew, that still did a lot of damage there. Alright, so Gyarados... Is we will actually now go ahead and do, 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 do. let's go ahead and hmm well maybe iron head into Komo'o and then we'll sludge bomb we're gonna be slower than Gyarados so we'll go ahead and we'll spore the Gyarados maybe hopefully he switches out We'll spore ex expecting, so we'll go ahead and Iron Head. We will we'll change us to a Steel type. And that is going to be enough to take out the Kamo'o with the crit. 
Basically, I just wanted to make sure we were in a favorable typing here. Okay, so we will be able to get a spore off on that Gyarados then. So Gyarados is going to go to sleep. I mean, he does have Excadrill that's also asleep, so we got to remember that. He has two Pokemon that are asleep, so he's going to go into the Pokemon that's not sleeping. And that is Clefable. Which will more than happy then to Iron Head and Sludge Bomb Clefable. So he could maybe switch out here. And hopefully Gyarados does not wake up turn one. He is going to Dynamax. So I'm assuming this is going to be Clefable. Um, which is probably smart. Dynamaxing it might actually help it survive. Maybe. We could also have Dynamaxed. That is a possibility for us as well. Especially with this Pokemon he does have asleep right now. We will Iron Head, which is a lot. Gyarados is still sleeping. And then it is a Max Lightning into the Cinderace for Steel-type, though. And we will live that. Oh, that will wake up the Gyarados from sleep, though. So maybe that was the person's intentions. Well, Sludge Bomb... Oh, it doesn't affect it afterwards. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll Dynamax. And then we'll just max Steel Spike the Clefable. And then we'll go ahead and click Sludge Bomb just in case it doesn't kill. So we will go ahead and Dynamax the Cinderace as well here. Which it might be a mistake, sir. We only have 32 HP, but I'm kind of hoping this kills. It is going to max guard. That's unfortunate. We did double down into it. Uh, so we probably should attack Gyarados there. Gyarados did wake up. It is going to waterfall, and it is going to take out that center race. Huge miscalculation on my part there for not kind of predicting the max guard. And Gyarados will get a Moxie boost now. We will Sludge Bomb, which obviously will not hurt the Clefable, and we did, which is waste our Dynamax now. Um, so we'll go ahead and go into Rillaboom. And then that will also change the terrain for us here to Grassy. And I think with that, we'll go ahead and... We'll fake out the Gyarados. And then we'll just Sludge Bomb the Clefable again. It's going to be a Max Flare from Clefable. That's going to hurt. But we are going to live with that Assault Vest. So it's going to be a Sludge Bomb from the Moongus. Not quite. We are going to get a little bit of heelsies. So Clefable is going to go back to normal. I'm going to expect probably another healing here. Um, so we will just... Uh, let's go ahead and just Grassy Glide the Gyarados. Let's we'll go for damage output here, and then we'll just Sludge Bomb the Clefable. We did get a crit there. Gyarados is going to use Bounce. That's perfectly fine. Flamethrower is going to come in onto the Rillaboom. Also fine. Sludge Bomb is going to take out the Clefable. Hopefully, yep, it does. Clefable does go down. 
We are going to get a little bit of healing here. Now he does have Excadrill in the back. So Excadrill is going to come out. And is going to have Mold Breaker. Uh, which we will go ahead and just grassy glide it just to do some damage to it and then we'll go ahead and we'll rage powder on the amoongus just because i'm assuming this balance is going at rillaboom here so we'll rage powder with the amoongus grassy glide the excadrill which does get to half which is perfect and it's still asleep which is even better for us bounce is going to come in and it should hit that amoongus now which we do have the koba berry so we're at least going to take that for sure. So that is down. And then Amoongus is going to heal up. Alright, so what can we do here? We'll go ahead and we'll Grassy Glide the Gyarados just to finish it off. And then we'll go ahead and Sludge Bomb. Um, or do we just Rage Powder here? Oh, I'm trying to figure out what the best move of attack is. I guess we'll just Protect with the Moongus. We'll just Protect with the Moongus. And then... Gyarados is going to go down. Excadrill did wake up. Did Iron Head. Oh, it's going to be unfortunate. That is going to be super unfortunate because we don't really have anything for Amoongus here. Or for Excadrill. Um, it kind of just comes down to we have a 1v1 situation here. Um, with no really damaging moves. So I think we'll go ahead and we'll just run. We'll go ahead and quit. There's no point in dragging that match on much longer. Excadrill is going to beat us anyways, and I just didn't want to stall it there. So we did go 0-2 with the VGC team. So I like to challenge you guys to get the 6 best Pokemon, and I like to see what you guys do. So go ahead and share that to me. Follow me on Twitter. Send me some screenshots on how you did. I'm interested to see. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button so we can hit our new sub goal of 225. And smash that like button. Share with somebody that you think would be interested. And I'd be happy to have them join us sometime. Peace out, guys, and stay safe.